I recently received many requests to describe the fan law, or the affinity law. And this is in the context of adding VFDs, or variable speed devices, to crack or crawl units in data centers. These devices can save a significant amount of energy, but commonly people ask, why do they save so much energy? And that's what I'm going to describe in this video. Before I begin to describe the fan law as it relates to energy usage in a data center, I want to do a simple activity. What I want you to do is to start clapping your hands at a comfortable pace. The effort you would exert to clap your hands at a normal pace is, well, just normal. Now I want you to clap twice as fast. It's hard, isn't it? You'd think that clapping twice as fast takes twice as much effort, but in fact it takes eight times as much effort. The reason that this is the case is because the relationship between how fast you clap and the energy that you exert to clap is not linear. It's actually cubic, which is why doubling the pace of the clap actually takes eight times as much work. The same principle holds true for the power used by an electric motor to spin a fan. If you wanted to spin a fan twice as fast, it would take eight times as much power. And this is the basic principle behind the fan law. Now let's look at a specific example for a data center. Let's say we had a crawl unit with a 15 horsepower fan motor that we retrofitted with a VFD. Typically, at full speed, that fan would draw about 10 kW. But now with a VFD, we have the ability to reduce the fan speed. This chart shows the relationship between fan power and fan speed for our 15 horsepower example. You'll notice that this relationship is not linear, but it's in fact cubic. So by reducing the fan speed from 100% to 80%, we're actually reducing the power from 10 kW to 5 kW. And if we reduce the fan speed even more, down to 50% speed, the power would reduce to about 1 kW. This relationship holds true no matter what motor size you have retrofitted. A good rule of thumb is that by reducing the fan speed 20%, you will achieve 50% savings, and by reducing the fan speed 50%, you will achieve 80% savings. Thanks for watching this DC Huddle video.